As a child, I learned that there's wisdom in knowing what it is that you don't already know. I refer to it as the wisdom of knowledge. No, that's, that's a lie. I googled that. In this case, I am absolutely clear that I don't know what Layers of Fear 2 is all about. And I'm fine with that, really. On that note, I am Lucas from the Aussie Gamers Experience, and today I am taking a look at the follow-up to the 2016 thriller, Layers of Fear, aptly named, This is Layers of Fear 2. Starting with the visuals, Layers of Fear 2 manages to impress with a near-photorealistic interior setting of an ocean liner. Corridors are lit with precision, giving off a crisp, clear aesthetic to the game, and the dark, bloody scenes give off exactly what a game of this genre should. This is when the game doesn't opt for black and white and sepia filters. While I can appreciate that it goes hand in hand with the themes and assist with ambiance, the sensational colouring and crisp clear visuals are thrown away and appear drab and unenthusiastic when the colour is ripped away in favour of a dramatic Instagram filter. Keeping up with where the story is going in Layers of Fear 2 will require you to pay a lot of attention and process the goings on with an IQ level well above whatever it is that I have. Also, attention to detail and a decent attention span is also handy to have. Layers of Fear 2 will deliver key points of the story during voiceover sequences and micro cutscenes that will be over in the blink of an eye. Further hints to the happenings of the story are drip-fed through collectibles and examining items within the environment. Overall, the story follows you, an actor becoming the character, and a pair of children who are presumably stowaways on this cruise liner. The kids will struggle to find food scraps to eat, and while you are constantly harassed by mannequins that attempt to freak you out over and 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 over again. Layers of Fear 2 is not what I would call a horror game. It's a thriller at best, and it does manage to cause the hairs on the back of your neck to stand to attention and the chills to roll down the back of your neck. However, a hearty jump scare a thorn, this is not. The theme with the mannequins does get stressful, eerie, and creepy, but never really moves into scary. Layers of Fear does bring back some of the key elements from the original with the strange level designs, moving doorways and corridors. However, they have toned that down to a point where I just wanted more of that. I really enjoyed the confusing movement of items, doorways and hallways when you turned your back on it. However, this was far too sparse for my liking. It was a shame really, because as for me, that was what made the original really stand out. Gameplay for Layers of Fear 2 is similar to the original, in where you are really just walking around interacting with items and completing simple puzzles. Really, the puzzles are so simple that I accidentally completed a few uh, without actually knowing what I did to do it right. Maybe my IQ is higher than I thought, but then again, probably not. There's a handful of encounters where your life is on the line. However, you won't be punished too hard for dying as you'll just respawn a short distance away for you to try again. Trial and error is your friend here. Layers of Fear 2's playtime should net you around 5 hours of confusion, fear and frustration in small areas. This is a game that should be enjoyed by people that have the time to concentrate on the story. Soak it all in and enjoy the well-written story. It's also quite heavy if you do pay attention. Rushing through will only leave you confused like I kinda was at the end of it all. There are multiple endings that are influenced by a couple of instances that offer you choices, but once again, pay attention because those choices aren't very obvious that you're actually making a decision that will affect the game's outcome. 
Layers of Fear 2 is a competent video game for the right player. And if you think you're of above average intelligence and feel like you want to shiver a little, this is the game for you. It's fun, exciting, and doesn't ever reach that climactic cinematic ending that I was hoping for, but it's fairly good, I would say. And just quickly on the game time, if you do play it and pay a little bit more attention, you're going to get a ton more than five hours out of it too. Well, that's all I have for this video. Thank you very much to everyone for checking it out. And if you want to see more from the Aussie Gamers experience and myself, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe. We really appreciate all the support we get from you guys and gals and non-binaries. Thanks again, and as always, I am Lucas, and until next time, I will see you!